What's going on guys? My name is Drew and welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of this FM21 save here in Germany at Stuttgart. In today's episode we're going to go through what uh, has happened since the last one. Obviously we were having a, a minor blip in terms of performances. So uh, we'll go through how we've done since that last game uh, in the Europa League against Apple of Cyprus. And uh, we'll also talk about a signing we've made as well. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. And if you enjoy this kind of content, want to see more, please hit that thumbs up button to show that you're enjoying it. So let's see how we've got on since that game against Apple. So there we go. And guys, you can see there's a lot more green on the board than there was before. And yes, we've managed to get some wins finally. Uh, after that disappointing draw at home in Germany against uh, Apple of Cyprus. Part of that reason, I think, for us bouncing back so well is a change in tactic. As you can see in the formation screen here, we're trying a very different tactic. Now, this was provided to me by a fellow content creator streamer called Mr. Diz. He's using it currently on his mold save. Um, and where he was struggling to get results... He switched to this tactic and has started winning quite a few games. So obviously I've taken that uh, tactic on myself just to see if it would work for us. And actually it's pretty well designed for our team. I'll go into the detail of the tactic in a bit. But yeah, it's, it's pretty well set up for our team. That's the bit I wanted to check first. Could our team actually play this formation? Have we got the players that could do it? in those sort of positions because it is a bit of an out there tactic so uh, like I say we'll have a look at the tactic in a bit but let's talk about those uh, those results we've got since that last game so we bounced back from that uh, draw with a 2-1 win over Wolfsburg uh, Gonzalez getting a couple of goals there he has been pretty epic actually this season let's have a, a look at his stats so so far he's got 23 goals in 13 appearances and he's still only 23. So he's definitely a player we need to hold on to. I'm just going to check. He hasn't got a release clause, has he? No. That's good. He's definitely a player we need to keep hold of because uh, he's our star player. As we expected him to be when we started this uh, save and this challenge. But uh, yeah, really pleased with Gonzalez performing so well. Even just up front on his own now. Like I say, we've changed the tactic and he's still performing really well. We then followed that up with a, a very interesting game against Union Berlin. We conceded four, they conceded six, and we won 6-4. So again, Gonzalez banging in four goals this time. Uh, Massimo with one and Hulk smash with uh, the final goal at the end of the game. But uh, you can see a couple of goals back for them. Well, three goals back for them right at the end of the game. To be fair, we took our foot off the gas. And uh, probably let them back into it a bit more than we needed to. But a really great performance for us. And that was in the second round of the Cup. And then a game that I didn't expect the tactic to work in. Because we were playing against Leverkusen. And uh, obviously as we know Leverkusen have got a really good squad. Uh, although they are struggling this season. But uh, we managed to beat them 2-0. Uh, a goal from Armada on 42 minutes. And then a pen from Gonzalez again. <laughs> As you can see, he's flying so far this season, uh, right at the end of the game on 85 minutes. So yeah, really good performance there from us against uh, Leverkusen. And then we got our revenge on Apple and uh, managed to beat them 6-3. Again, really interesting game because um, we scored, well, they scored first actually. Two wonder goals from Marius Ledesmo. Um, free kicks from sort of 30 yards out and I had a look at him. His free kick taking is between 13 and 15 and he scored two wonder goal free kicks which uh, was quite a shock for us. We didn't expect to concede them. So yeah, he scored on four minutes. We then uh, got a goal back um, through an own goal from their player. Um, they then went 2-1 up and uh, we then equalised. And then after that, we literally just peppered them with goals. Uh, three goals from Gonzalez again, Hulk as well, and Andre Anderson getting his first goal for the club as well. So yeah, 6-3 victory for us there. And now today we face Borussia Dortmund 
um, at home. And uh, again, they're a team that are struggling as well this season. So Leverkusen and Borussia Dortmund are struggling. So I'm quietly confident now we've kind of got this run of form going at the moment that we might actually be able to beat them. They're currently eighth in the league. So let's go and have a look at this wonder tactic that we found uh, before we get into this uh, live com of the episode against Dortmund. So here we go guys. So essentially it's a custom tactic. It's an attacking 3-1, 3-2-1 asymmetric tactic. And uh, the reason I thought it would work well for us is because a lot of the attack obviously is down the right hand side where we've got our strongest players basically. Mafio is our quality right back um, with Stencil as his backup who uh, is pretty decent as well. We've obviously got Wam and Katuka as well and we've got Hulk. And uh, if we need them, we've also got um, Massimo to come in as well, or Armada. So we're pretty strong down this right-hand side compared to the left-hand side. So that's why I thought this tactic would work really well for us. And uh, as you can see from those results we got recently, sw since we switched to it, we have been getting uh, the results in. So a massive thanks to Mr. Diz for sending this over to me. And uh, we've slightly tweaked the instructions as well to make it a bit more suitable to us. But uh, it certainly fits our playing style. Um, it's, it's again, more the sort of gung-ho uh, approach that we took on last season as well, where we literally just attacked, 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 and then obviously conceded goals as well. But we uh, obviously managed to get through the games by obviously scoring more goals than the opposition, which is the way you win games. So, yeah, really pleased with this tactic. And like I say, massive thanks to Mr. Diz for sending it to me. And so far, touch wood, touching the desk there, um, it's working. So let's get into this Dortmund game where potentially it could all fall apart. This is the lineup we're going with today. So Kobel in goal, Anton and Regani are centre backs, Magala just in front of them, Mafio, Wamangatuka, and Hulk on the right, with Andre Anderson and Dela Cruz in midfield, Armada just behind our top goal scorer and our star player at the moment, Gonzalez. So Borussia Dortmund have still got the likes of Haaland and Sancho. Renier on the bench, who I've uh, just got on loan actually on my Leon. Twitch save, uh, cheeky little plug there to the to the Twitch channel. Go and uh, check it out. Drop me a follow if you uh, enjoy the content as well. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday night, 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. And uh, yeah, we're currently running a Leon save into our fourth season now. Still trying to knock PSG off the top. But yeah, they've got a uh, a top team as you'd expect. Be interesting to see then if this tactic will work uh, against a team like Dortmund. But like I say, they are struggling at the moment. There you go, recent form. That draw against uh, Apple and then just wins, wins, wins after that. But like you can see, look, two, three losses. And obviously they're managed by Allegri as well now. Three losses and two wins recently. And you can see they're eighth in the league. And we're currently above them in sixth. Same number of points, say. Okay, so four minutes they've already scored. Hmm. I've got a I've got an awful feeling <laughs> this might not work. Silas now. Gonzalez, Mafio, Almada, Hulk. Good save from Berkey. Oh, and Harlan can break. Thank God Mangala got that tackle right because he could have been sent off as last man. Regani, Mangala, Hulk. Loads of space for Hulk as well, who's also been coming into form since we've switched to that uh, other tactic. Can't seem to break them down, but we are having a lot of highlights, which is decent. Although, saying that, here's a highlight to them, which Hummel scores from. I think Wam and Gatuka missed the flight of the ball or something. A goalkeeper was flapping at uh, air there, I think. That's annoying. We're 2 0 down. Sancho with another corner. Hummels this time over. We're not dealing with the corners very well. Very quickly, we've got to half time. 2 0 down. May have been a bit too uh, 
confident in the tactic to uh, to play it against the likes of Dortmund, although we are at home. So I'm going to fire the team up because we have been on really good form recently. Not seen anything from Gonzalez. I've really bigged Gonzalez up as well. He's literally done nothing so far. <laughs> so again, we only need to achieve mid-table this season. Uh, bearing in mind we're still obviously in Europe as well. We're playing pretty well, although a lot of teams around us on the same amount of points started to push forward a bit more, which is going to leave us open at the back. They're very dangerous on uh, set pieces. Gonzalez now, Hulk, Gonzalez. Good save from Berkey. Stencil, Silas pulls it across, but uh, Gonzalez can't get on the end of it. And that's the end of the game. So a 2-0 defeat, it didn't quite work playing this tactic against Dortmund. We played pretty well though, not as clinical as we have been in recent games unfortunately. Dominated possession, yeah expected goals of 1.5, decent number of shots as well for us but uh, yeah they were more clinical, very dangerous from set pieces as well. So that's taken us down to 8th but to be fair we're only a point off of 6th, 3 points off of Leipzig in 5th so we're still in and amongst it. Obviously like I say we only need to achieve mid table this season. So I mentioned a transfer right at the start of the episode as well. So we're bringing in Miguel Silvera. So another player that I recognise from my Leon save. Obviously we're into the fourth season on that one. A player that um, I think is at United. I think he develops into a really good player. Although it doesn't look like he will here. So yeah he's coming in in January for four, roughly four million. Uh, which I think is quite a good deal. Well four million over time obviously. I think it's a million or something up front so uh, I think that's quite a decent deal hopefully he turns out like the player he is on my Leon save because uh, yeah he looks uh, a pretty decent player on my uh, my Leon save and I think like I say he's at United there so yeah hopefully he develops into that sort of player touted as the next Zinio as well so potentially he could be a quality player although his determination is only 11 so slightly concerned he won't develop into that sort of player but we'll see we'll bring him in in January might even loan him out I'm not sure or we could potentially play him but um, hopefully there's not another version of him um, in the game who is really good and uh, I've gone and signed like the the worst brother or something like that I'm not sure but yeah excited to see what he does when he comes in in January so yeah we followed those four wins in a row with that defeat against Dortmund then so you know the drill guys I'll play through now till probably the Leicester game on the 9th of December uh, which will be our final game in the Europa League group so I think it's uh, still quite tight in our group so potentially either myself Wren or Leicester could go through there's obviously two of the three of us that can get through so I'll play through to that 9th of December game and then bring you guys back and let you know how we've got on and whether the tactic is still working. So please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.